Hyperlinks 9.2 features a number of enhancements for power integrity, including pin grouping for decoupling analysis, which allows you to see the effect of multiple pins in parallel on the impedance plots. So if we go and analyze this 2.5 volt plane and do a distributed analysis at two different pins, one towards the outside of the pin field and one towards the inside of the pin field, we can see the results. And in the results, we can see a very inductive impedance plot that is characteristic of single pin impedances. Uh, note the two pins are almost overlapping. They have very similar impedance plots. So let's go ahead and take a look at what the results would be if instead of using single pins we used a group of pins. This allows us to see the effect of all of those pins in parallel on the actual impedance plot. So if we go in here and take a look at the different pin groups that have been set up we can actually edit these groups to have different models. By default we short all of the pins together so that you can see the ideal parallel combination of those pins. You can also use a single or a per pin RLC model if you know those parasitics. So I'm going to use a shorted model to see that effect and I'll re-simulate. And you will notice in these results that we see a much lower impedance. And of course that is due to the fact that we have all the pins connected in parallel at a single pin grouping port. So now you can get even more information about the PDM performance using the pin grouping feature in Hyperlinks 9.2.